Hi, I'm Severio from Onet Plugins. Uh, today I want to show you the latest version of our VU meter. It's a, a digital VU meter and uh, also has a uh, much loved auto gain function that helps you in preparing uh, the gain staging for your mixes. It's the fourth version of uh, the view meter we first released some years ago and uh, it has uh, much many improvements on um, the previous version. We added the ability to name a track, to name a group, and uh, also uh, you can now send every parameter to every instance of the meter without having to group them. This is, may prove uh, very useful in busy mixes and um, also where you probably maybe you have forgot to group your tracks and you can now uh, just uh, with one click set everything to auto gain or change the color meter or change uh, whatever other parameter you want. So uh, it's better if I jump uh, straight into the session and I show you how the plugin works. So I have uh, this Reaper sec session here. Uh, it's um, a song I've been working on. Uh, this is just the drum section and I want to uh, prepare the mix for this drum section here. Now, from the track insert, I will choose the VU meter and choose the VU meter M key 4. This is the new layout where you have uh, the actual gain here that you can adjust, dragging up and down or double click to edit directly. So I will now bring it back to zero. This green dot here means that this parameter is uh, sent to group enabled. That means that if uh, we, we set more than one plugin to the same group here, changing this parameter will also change the parameter in all the other uh, instances that belongs to the same group. The same goes for the reference that sets the zero reference Right now, it's to negative 18 dB, that is the de facto standard for this kind of applications. You can, of course, drag it up and down and change the value. I'll bring it back to minus 18. Then we have the maximum allowed peak. This is a peak protection that was present also in the previous version of U-Meter. And uh, it never allows any single peak to exceed the value you specify here. So uh, in this case, we have a negative 6 dB. So if uh, just one peak in the track we are going to analyze would exceed this level, then the gain is modified accordingly so that no peaks will exceed this. For this kind of application I'm going to, to do today, in drum mixing preparation, I don't want this kind of limit because I'm going to use tape right behind the view meter to uh, give much more warmth uh, to the every track. So I'm going to disable it completely. So uh, we don't take into consideration any peak and uh, this um, allows uh, peak to exceed any, even the, the zero and go into clip. That's what we want because the tape is going to round off these peaks. Then we have uh, the target that we want to reach with the auto gain. And since uh, we are talking about drums and I like to drive my uh, drums hot, I'm going to use 3VU as a target because I'm going to drive uh, tape that will come after VU meter. Then we have the auto button. This is a, one of the new feature. You can name every instance, for, the, for example, this is uh, my kick drum, so I can double click on the text box and write in kick. So this, uh, when I, I have this window open, because I could uh, leave the window open and then lose track of what kind of track I'm looking at, uh, I know that I'm looking at the, the level for the kick uh, track. Then I have uh, the grouping feature. We have uh, eight groups. And I want to set it on the drums 
because uh, uh, I already created a, a drums uh, group, but with a right click on edit, I could name it uh, um, any other way, say uh, drums group. And in every other instance, I would see the name of the group instead of group one. This is a, another useful feature that allows you to uh, see the level from any other named instance. If any instance has a, a given name, from the drop down here, you can see uh, all the other instances you have and choose to see uh, the level from another track instead of uh, the one uh, you have opened here. It's uh, very useful for having a quick glance of the level of other tracks without having to close the guy, go to the track, open the other instance. It's speed up the workflow. Uh, right now you only see self because we have just one instance and so uh, we cannot see anything else except by ourselves. This button here allows you to change the color of the, of the meter and uh, if we right click we can change the color for all the group or all the instances in the project. Uh, an orange dot lights up to show that the parameter is sent to all, so to every instance of the view meter in the project. You can also load and save uh, presets. So if you uh, like uh, your view meter uh, blue, for example, you can save the preset and uh, next time you load the view meter into your project, you can load the preset with your preferences saved. So you won't have to, to set everything from, from the beginning uh, again. So I have this setup here that I think it's fine for me. And I'm going to uh, copy the view meter on all the other tracks in the drum group I have. And now I am ready to name the tracks. This is my snare track. Then I have, this shouldn't be there. I have my Hyatt then I have Tom's then I have the Hoverheads And then the room track. I named each of every one instances because I want to show you that from one window of the plugin you can see the level from any other um, track, any other plugin uh, in, the, in the session. So I just opened the first one, that's enough for me. And right now from the um, drop down I can see all the other tracks so for example if I want to have a look at the snare I'm seeing this is the kick this is the snare so now I want just to set everything to to self because I I just want to set the auto gain for everything uh, every track every drum track in the project so um, I'll just uh, leave everything as it is right now because uh, this is, these parameters have been already copied to any other instance here. And now turning on auto gain will allow uh, the, the, the gains to be set for every instance of the meter. You see the button is turned on on every other instance. So we set the gain for the small loop of the, the song here 
auto button turns off when you press uh, uh, stop because uh, um, it would mess the gains if it was uh, lived on. Uh, the next time you press play, it would start recalculating every gain once again, so it would mess up your mix. Once you have uh, played uh, the tracks uh, for the first time, you can safely leave it off as uh, the target has been already reached and the gain has been set, unless you want to um, reset every, every gain. So you just have to turn it on once again and press play and uh, the gains will start to be computed once again. So now I have everything set and you see that we have a lot of red lights here because uh, and, uh, it's, the signal is peaking is, uh, on, on every track because to reach uh, the plus three uh, VU level, we are going to, we are rising the signal a lot because in the drums we don't have uh, um, uh, enough, uh, enough uh, um, average level. We have uh, short peaks, but not sustained. So uh, to reach an average level of uh, plus uh, uh, three VU, we are going to increase the gain quite a lot. So uh, to fix this, Let's say fix this, in, in, in reality is what we want to do because we want to drive our tape simulation. I'm going to put our tape here and leave everything as it is because I don't want to demonstrate this plugin right now. We just want to have its default and set it on every track where we have view meter. So now, I reset all the peak indicator here. And playing it once again, uh, we'll, we'll show you that we don't have any more peaks because uh, the peaks are shaved off by tape and uh, the sound we have is much more analog because we are driving the saturation inside of tape. Of course, we still have a couple of peaks here because these are our buses and we don't have uh, uh, any processing on those buses. But of course, as you will do on any analog mixer, you can just lower the level in your bus. Or if you want, you can always strap another view meter without setting any group, we can uh, now say that we want a maximum of uh, minus 6 dB that is perfectly in line with what we want. Just set auto. And we also have our bus automatically gain staged and set to never exceed the minus 6 dB uh, limit, that is what we want for our drum bus. So, this is uh, the new Hornet View Meter and Key 4 that you can find on our website www.hornetplugins.com. You can go there and download the plugin, we don't have a demo for that, but we offer a 15 days 100% uh, money back guarantee. So if you don't like the plugin, uh, you can ask for your money back without any issue. And uh, of course, as always, if you have any suggestion or anything to say, us, to tell us, just uh, drop us a line. Thank you very much for watching the video.